that. Is it working? Alright, it seems like it is working. Let me just pull up my stream manager. Can we hear me? Is it possible? I can't even see the comments anyway. Fuck my life. Uno momento. I thought I had everything prepared. I was definitely not. I didn't pull up my stream manager like a Muppet. Oh, I have to log in to Twitch again on my computer. Oh, I have to log in to Twitch again on my computer. Fuck. You can definitely hear everything around me, that's for sure. stream manager and then you know we can actually start start yep got it cool get out of my way oh my god twitch is acting like as if like I've never seen how anything works ever before right we're here we're good we're live I've got like my player there so I can see actually when my stream drops out oh all right we're back we got some cooking to do. This this could take a this could take a while. This could take a while. We're going to make beef drunken noodles. I need to close my windows, otherwise everyone in the neighborhood's going to hear me streaming, <laughs> which feels super weird. All right, it feels super weird. Um, yeah. So we've got to make beef drunken noodles today. Oh, my camera has already given up on me. Um, yeah, so we're making beef drunken noodles. Um, it's going to have a lot of vegetables, more than you would normally have in, of course, the beef drunken noodles recipe, because we are all about the veggies. <sighs> I, the camera will come back. It'll come back. Don't worry. We just, we're just used to this now until I get enough money to buy myself like a professional camera. Um, it's just going to unfortunately be a little bit like that. I'm sorry. I also don't like it, but we're here. Let me go close my windows and turn this room into a sauna and we'll start preparing all of the vegetables. Yeah, cool. You can't even see me stand up anyway. So, beef drunken noodles, why? Um, I'd like to make something that, you know, challenges me and something I've never made before. I do have like a plethora of recipes that I have made before. And when I get my kitchen island, eventually at some point in time, we will get around to that. In the meantime, we are making this. I've never really made it before, but I did a little bit of research to understand exactly what we're gonna be making. And we're gonna give it a fair shake of the sauce bottle. Now, if you don't know what that means, if you're not from Australia, that means, you know, give it a fair go. Give it a fair shake of the sauce bottle. Normally you mean tomato sauce or ketchup. Um, or barbecue sauce, maybe, I don't know. You could be that person. Tomato sauce usually needs to be shaken because, you know, it separates and there's that little layer of water. You know what I mean? Yeah, know what I mean? Anyway, um, so we have our beef so we're gonna go with blade steaks we because rumps oh, 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 our camera has returned fuck yeah all right cool 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 uh yeah so blade steaks just because it's a nice balanced cut of meat and for the price too 18 dollars a kilo around the same price as a rump steak but i feel like rump steak just ain't as good yeah, this will be a good cut of meat when we cut it up. We've got mushrooms. We've got like our little button mushrooms that we're using. About 500 grams of that. We got two red bell peppers, um, or capsicums as we call them here. We got two regular chilies. We're gonna meat. We're probably not gonna go with seeds. 
I hate the seeds. Dude, I can't, my spice game ain't that strong. We got some carrots, we got three of these bad boys. We're gonna peel them and cut them up. Got a lot of garlic. We're gonna go with a lot of garlic. We've got two red onions. We've got two bits of broccoli. Um, we have our, this is the closest noodles I could find for this. Uh, they're just Pad Thai noodles, rice noodles. Broad or wide rice noodles works. This one kind of only just makes it. And that's fine. I got three packs of them because I wasn't too sure how much this will become. Um, then we've got a little bit of spinach because I like to add a little bit of spinach in there. You know, it's got that iron. I've got shallots. I've got uh, some Thai basil, which we'll um, add in at the end. More so as a garnish. But yeah. Now all of this cost me, I think, 70 bucks and uh, a third of that was pretty much the beef 2236 for the beef yuck and we'll see how many containers of food we can get out of this and we will try to make sure we don't overfill it we want to go with about 750 800 grams per dish 450 grams is already you know a sizable amount so us going 750 800 is like having a dinner meal for every meal so I don't want to go too overboard with it. Maybe we'll try and split it up to like 600 grams a dish. I do have a scale, I think, actually. Or we'll just maybe make it two thirds full. But every time I say that, we still get a little bit, you know, silly with it. Um, the sauces we're going to do is combine oyster sauce, soy sauce, and fish sauce. Uh, I'd put dark soy sauce in there too. It's just I thought I had it, and then I realized I didn't. Fuck. But it's okay. We can work around this. Um, just. You really should have it. It'll add like a bit of a nicer taste. But. It froze, didn't it? Oh no, my camera froze. I need to get it to stop doing notifications and shit. Oh, we've also got baby corn spears. So, um, we're gonna be adding that too. <sighs> the way we're gonna go about this, because you see Big Bertha is nowhere near enough to handle this. We're gonna have way too much food, way too much noodles to try and do it all in one dish, right? We're going to, like we have done previous times, um, cook the beef uh, last with the aromatics and then the noodles together. The veggies though, a lot of it will try and cook it and season it and then add it into the big pot to combine at the end with the sauce which means we'll have to go with a lot more sauce than i was anticipating so that we can make sure that we coat everything properly with that said we have a lot of veggies to prep so let's get on to it you know what a lot i'm hearing a lot of people saying lately shall we Let's get everything started, shall we? And it just keeps reminding me of the DC's, um, what's that movie with, uh, where they all come together? League of Justice? Justice League? No, it isn't that, is it? It's the one where, no, it's Batman vs. Superman or something, and then also Aquaman, Aquaman and Wonder Woman were there as well, and then she does, like, the superhero drop and is like, shall we? I don't know, just so many people have been saying it lately and I'm like, too many people are saying it. It's too mainstream now. <sighs> I 
what are we going to get started with? Let's get started with something simple. The broccoli. Because, shall we dance? Maybe it's, maybe, it's is maybe a movie. It is a movie. It is a movie. It is a movie. What's poppin' Rachel's? Rachel's Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, Google Play Store. Apple Camera. Minecraft. Terraria. Pokemon Go. Simpsons Tapped Out. Call of Duty. Fuck. Flappy Bird. Yep. Pikachu. I almost got all of it. You know, it's just been so long since I've said it. So, you know. Gonna let that beef come to room temperature. It's best to cook your meat when it's at room temperature. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because that way your meats will cook and behave accordingly. When it's too cold, it won't cook through uh, as easily. You could cook the outside and then it doesn't really cook the inside anywhere near as good. And you end up kind of having an unbalanced cooked meat. So, attack of the brock. We're going to have brock cook on its own. Um, so when we're going to be um, not when, instead of blanch, I, I don't like blanching my veggies because then it's really unseasoned. It kind of sucks, but you do need to like cook it through at some point. So I like kind of stir fry cooking it with not too much sauce or something, but definitely seasoning it so that when you get it combined in with the sauce and everything, muy bueno. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yay. So, I was meant to start this maybe a couple hours earlier, but I decided um, it's been a long time since I've gone for a run. Uh, so I went for a run. Uh, I didn't do it at any crazy pace or anything because I don't think I've gone for a run since like October. Uh, so my stamina and endurance levels are like at an all time low. Especially considering that in Christmas I went hard on the snackies, the chockies, the lollies, the cookies, the KFCs, the everything not good for me's. So, you know. We needed to get back into the groove. We're getting a little chubby here. You know, we need to get ourselves into a good routine. Have some good habits. Uh, good habits are good. Not good habits definitely make you feel sad. You know, exercise is good, good for you. So I went for a 5K run or jog, really. I couldn't. I had to stop. One mosquito dead. I had to stop a couple times, that's for sure. I did a, like a, ended up being at a pace of seven minutes and 23 seconds for the whole run, which is okay. I'd like to get that down to like six and a half. Eventually. So I'm gonna try and do a should I do this with the carrots? You see, you want to cook the similar things together. Capsicums or bell peppers. They are their own little beast. Because they legit, um, they sweat super fast. Faster than carrot. Carrot and the broccoli stalks kind of go at the same rate. So, we're gonna put them together. Can we still hear me okay if I'm sitting back here? Like, is that all right? I don't have to like get up here to the mic, right? I hope. bag right here why did I have to reach over to my bin that was dumb 
Oh, that mosquito that got me. That was uh, definitely a female. So the females are the ones that actually, you know, make you feel that sting. When a male mosquito, yes, that's right. There are genders in mosquito ecology. That is correct. It is a thing. Google it if you don't believe me. There's not 76 genders. You don't need to worry about it. There's no trans mosquitoes. Okay. Disclaimer. I'm sorry for all the LBGTQ plus supporters out there that are all about that. I, res I respect it. But mosquitoes, they're just, it's just too. No offense. Uh, like at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, the female ones are the ones that, you know, they, they, they leave a sting on you. The male ones, they just like, they're for a good time. They still take your blood though. They don't hurt as much. They know what's up. Lit. Um... Yeah, I've got work in the morning, damn it. Waking up at early morning at 7 a.m. Currently, it is 8 o'clock where I am. So, this could take us three hours. It's all dependent on how quickly I get all the veggies done, to be honest. It's all about getting the veg prep done. So, last stream was chicken sweet corn soup. It was, you know, quick. It was a quick episode, simply because we didn't have to go and prepare veggies. And we're already 17 minutes in, you know? We're 17 minutes in and we're only working on the broccoli right now. And I'm sweating. Fucking sweating, dude. It is hot here, my guy. Carrot time. Actually, hand pick these carrots. Look at these beastie boys. Wow, this is like a good looking carrot. Wow. XD. Cool. Oh my. So, how did this come about that I picked this? I don't know. I really don't know what I want to cook when I go to cook something. And then, just the idea comes into my head and I'm like, yep. Okay. Cool. The thing is, I've already told everyone in my office that I'm making this. So, I low-key feel like I have to make tiny portions for them so they can all get to try it. Maybe, if I'm nice. I could be nice. Also, my big bosses that I haven't seen since I started, uh, since one of my interviews, um, are going to be there. One person that I've actually never met, and one person that was at my interview, and they're going to be there tomorrow. So it'd be nice to see them. It'll be cool. It'll be neat. Not stressed. Not nervous. But there's going to come a point in time where I'm going to start answering the phone call and taking calls. And that is what's really got me feeling some kind of way. You know what I mean? <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Damn it. I'm trying out a different shape seeing how it works so I, I'm definitely cutting it like a noob right now I don't know how I feel about that maybe I just want to go the carrots are definitely gonna be weird yeah I don't know about that chief a little better. I don't know. What I 
do know is um, that I might not be able to play after this just because it will be so late by then. I was thinking of playing games afterwards, um, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. Oh yeah, this one, this feels like it fits a lot, a lot better. These guys, you know what I mean? I'm cool with those. Because it's also easy to cut. to turn on like a fan or something of some sort because your boy sweating i don't know if i ever cut veggies while sitting down it is weird it is weird i don't love it i hate sitting down and cutting veggies if i'm going to be real about it but yeah we don't have the kitchen island yet like you definitely can't put as the regular amount of force that you normally would if you know what i mean like you have to really put some effort into it because you don't have that that downward gravity that your arm no can normally do it's side on so i definitely have to be a bit stiff arm about it when i'm cutting um but yeah hopefully in the next few pays your boy's looking to get that after pay for split payments for both a camera and the kitchen island and also eventually the wireless mic as well yeah you just need every star to align that's all nothing much nothing crazy you know what i mean all right that's done so yeah, a lot of garlic is going to be in this dish. That is a fresh out. I'm sorry. I probably hit you big ASMR wise. Get rid of them seeds. So yeah, this is... For the most part of this stream, it's really going to not look like much until the very end. And then it's going to go BAM, baby. Cash fucking money. It's kind of oddly satisfying when you're cutting a you know bell pepper or capsicum because you end up with this kind of beast with all the seeds in them. And then you have this lovely strip. This guy. Which is lit. And then you cut and slice it however whichever way you want. Just like, personally, the best way to prep. You just gotta make sure you cut it right. You don't cut it too shallow or too deep when cutting off the top, like I just did then. Too shallow. So I had to ruin it a bit. Uh, yeah, it's probably about 31 degrees at the moment at like, Half past eight in the evening. Regular temperature at summertime. Regular old temperature. And that's fine. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, I hit my steps goal today. It wasn't even really a high goal because office boy, office boy don't do that many steps. So they're setting the bar low for me. Thank you, um, Garmin smartwatch thing. It's not even really that smart of a watch. I can't even pay with my watch. You know, some people can pay with their watch. I can't. I'm not that cool. Or do I want to be that cool? Do I even want to be that cool? 
I don't know. What I do know is I am excited for the flavor that this is gonna give. It is gonna be crazy. That fish and oyster sauce combo is going to be monumental. It always is. Fish and oyster sauce is just hand in hand, good friends. It is a quintessential flavor base and combined with the amount of garlic and chili that we're gonna have in this, fui. Fui. ones I think we'll cut but the not as longish ones leave you know why so it'll have a similar consistency to the carrot because the carrot is a certain length this guy, however, is a taller boy. So this taller boy is going to be split in half. It was actually a little bit difficult trying to find Thai basil. Holy crap. Italian basil, also not very easy to find. I guess supply is just running a bit low, understandable. Tell you what, nuts running low. The amount of mangoes in, in the stock. Mango season, summer. Down for that. I even thought about buying some today. I was like, I haven't had mango, fresh mango in so long. $5 for two mangoes. I was thinking about it. I really was, I really was, I really was. Instead, we're just sticking with G Fuel. Fabulous. Um, let's get down to business and cut up the mush. Now, do we have to really cut them up? Nah. Um, actually, we'll quarter them. We'll quarter them. So we'll halve and then quarter. Bring a nice extra texture level to the stir fry. So yeah, I was arming and ahhing about when I was coming up with this dish, um, whether or not I wanted to have rice, because I miss rice. I haven't had rice in ages. We had soup. We had soup. And I tell you, I'm glad we're not having soup. That was like two weeks of soup, day and night. I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mine. Kid Cuddy with a banger with Steve Aoki back in the day, only the OG party boys remember. Uh, also, what was it, Project X, that movie of the teenagers in the States and so on that had like the wildest party on earth, that movie. Looked very lit, one could say. You know what I mean? Very lit indeed. I've been looking at Pal World lately. I tell you what, it looks crazy, crazy fun. Looks like it would be a fun, crazy adventure. You know what I mean? Probably would last. Sorry, I don't understand. I wasn't talking to you, Google speaker. Shut the fuck up. As I was saying in my previous, e as per my previous email, um, yeah, Pal World looks fun, but it also feels like it'll be like when we played Lego Fortnite, we go in hard for like a week, and then we're like, ah, okay, we're done. You know what I mean? 
Do y'all know what I mean? A lot of mushies. A lot of mushy bars. Um, the smell, the earthy, kind of watery smell of mushrooms though. Gotta love it. When you smell it out in, um, out in the wild as well. Oh, so good. So good. So good. Oops. The last one. You're the last one. Complete the mission. Cool. Mushy's done. Brock done. Carrot done. Bell peppers done. Let's get on to the aromatics, I guess. Um, so we will start with onion. We need another bowl though. We're having an issue in regards to the bowl situation. Let me think. Fucking mosquitoes. I'm going to use a regular bowl. This could also potentially be our DNM moment. Sad boy Pablo coming out. Because, you know, the onions, they make you feel some kind of way. And as I always say, if you're going to cry, do it when you're cutting onions. Because then no one knows. No one needs to know. Know what I mean? You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what I mean. Birthday's coming up in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna have to start messaging out to my friends and be like, hey, you wanna hang out with me on my birthday for barbecue? much more tame but they didn't say my 20s let's say that yum what up Omaha how's Fortnite or are you guys playing I am still sweating like it's just not stopping Straight. we are dripping we are wet Mosquito down, ladies and gentlemen. Mozzie down. <laughs> Wetty spaghetti. Moist. How am I cutting this? I never like cutting it this way. I just want to say that. I never like cutting it like this, but this is the way that we need it for this stir fry. It'll come out nice and elongated. Oh, that fucking mosquito. That one was a good one. It got me good. And now it's starting to begin. Now it's starting to begin where my eyes are like, hey bro. You remember that time back in that past that you can't ever forget because it makes you feel so kind of- Oh! Everything's okay. I was sad last week. I was very grumpy. After my first paycheck and being able to try and catch up on a few of the bills and hopefully I get my car part tomorrow it was meant to be on Friday but fine whatever I can uh, constantly make a little bit more extra money throughout the week and the weekend with DoorDash that way I go from making say 
eight hundred something a week to like a thousand a week. And then I can, you know, look at getting that camera. And look again, that kitchen island, baby. Are you telling a sad story? I was a little for a second there. Because, you know, I'm cutting onions and it's making me, you know. I think the sweat's kind of dispersing it out though, so it's like not as bad. Wait, no, 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 I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Back to where we were before. All right. Uh, do we go with the garlic or do we go with the chili? I think. Oh fuck! I need to put this onion far away from me. Stay away from me, bro. I don't need that shit. Nah, bro. You need none of this. Ah. Uh. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep the seeds. I'll be real with you. I've only started getting into spices and chili in like the past five years. So the other 26 years of my life, I didn't really, you know, get into it because when I was a kid, uh, my father was allergic. He was allergic to tomatoes, man. So we never really got to, you know, get up on our spice game until recently when I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm not a little bitch anymore. You know, I can handle more than just black pepper. But I can't go much further than Tabasco sauce at this point in time. I'm warming up to it. I'm working my way up in the spice world. All right? But I'm never going to be that person that just tortures and absolutely disintegrates my taste buds. <sighs> you know, like that Pepper X, the, the one that overtook the Carolina... Carolina Reaper chili I don't need to be like that I don't need to be like that I don't need to be that I, I dated someone for a minute that uh, was like that and I'm like no that's just you're ridiculous I appreciate flavor not killing my taste buds and then having them regrow back to become stronger I'm not crazy Okay. Shout out to all the crazy people that have the crazy hot chilies being like, oh, it's just fine. Absolutely bawling their eyes out and sweating fucking liters into their bathtub. Okay, they're not in a bathtub eating a chili. I'm sorry. That was a weird visual. It's fine. But you know what isn't fine? Um... Nothing. Everything's fine. <laughs> Touch eyes. Fuck no. Not in my house. Like I told you, I'm not psychopathic. It's so weird cutting sitting down, man. uses that sound blurb. He just always ran, randomly pops and was like, nice work, bitch. And I'm like, wow, good to see you too, Greg. <laughs> cool. Chili one, done. Chili two, I'm sweating into the food. Sorry that 
unlike in Futurama, we don't have a smelloscope. So I can't have you guys smell what this smell will make when we start cooking it with a bit of the chili garlic oil from the past streams. That's no, just me. Reverse psychology knows wants you to touch your <laughs> I see you, bunny. I see you, bunny. How you doing? You guys fortnite or not? I don't know if I can because, you know, I got work in the morning. As, as per usual. All right, now the most hated, personally, part of the stream for me. The garlic. I always like getting the already peeled ones. Because I'm lazy. Eating garlic. Right. I almost thought about getting a chopper today. You know those one of those little small choppers and you go pop pop and cuts them? I almost. I was definitely holding in my hand considering my life decisions of getting it or not. And I was like, nah, I'm not a bitch. I mean, I was like, nah, I, I, I want to be old school. When you start doing stuff like that, you become less of a chef. Not saying that I am one really anymore. But. It's a good practice. Keep your technique fresh. Be a man. I've been watching a, a lot of Instagram reels right lately. Um, instead of sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that be a man channel they just keep popping up probably because I like watch one and like let it loop a couple times and now just so many of them pop up because the search en engine or the uh, the optimization is just like <laughs> wow you watched that one twice here's 40 more fuck and it's ridiculous. Well, like, maybe uh, if you're on YouTube or something and you watch, like, one thing about, like, some random cartoon and all of a sudden now in your feed you've just got, like, 40, 30 recommended videos of this one topic. And you're like, fuck off. I missed the beginning, but anything called Be A Man sounds toxic AF. Oh, no, it's this channel. It's just, like, it's satirical, obviously. Um, just, f just for, you know, shits and geeks. It's not real. But it's like this channel of these dudes from Boston. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous stuff. Like, they're going against the, the social norms. And f ending it with be a man. That kind of stuff. Which is just silly. In, you know, reality. But, for satirical purposes, Funny, funny, haha. <laughs> but I, I watched like one or two, and I'm like, haha, <laughs> silly. Now there's just half of my feet is this, this group of dudes. Okay, that's fine. As someone whose fa whole family would follow a non satirical version, I got. S <laughs> Yikes. I just hate peeling the garlic, and then when it starts like getting its juices on you, it's, it's sticky. It's sticky. A garlic is sticky. The garlic insides are sticky, okay? And this is a lot of garlic, all right? There's not gonna be a lot of sticky stuff on my hands. Not sauce, don't. Slap it with a knife. Yeah, 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 we all know the things. I've got a better way. You'll see. Goodbye, mess. Get the fuck off my board. It's shit all over my hands, man. It's sticky shit. 
Alright. Oh, I can't even bang. This I don't know if this table will handle it. Alright, whatever. You chop off the ends, right? Chop off those dry little bits that hang onto the stem like they normally would, right? And we're gonna get a cocktail shaker. We're gonna shake that shit. Now, normally I would have also like smacked it with the knife. But this 1970s chipboard ass table might not be able to handle me doing that 40 times. You know what I mean? I'm watching Fortnite and chopping, and my brain is exploding. <laughs> I see. That's a problem. So you chop off the ends because that's what's kind of keeping all of that skin together. And when, yeah, we're going to get a little shaker. Or you can get like two bowls that are like, you know, similar size that'll cover up. And you shake. That's it. Like these two metal bowls, I would have combined them together and shook them. And it'll bounce around enough that like this, the, 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 the peel will just come off. And it's great. When you're dealing with bulk garlic, it's great. And then afterwards, you just gotta chop it all up. And then you're done. And then all we have to do after this is prep. The beef. Oh, and the basil, kind of. Oh, and the shallots. Fuck. We got a lot to prep. Um, and then eventually I'll turn on my stove at the back, which has about 10 liters of water. Get it up to like, I'll put it on like le heat level one, just to start heating up the water. So that when I need to get it to a um, a good temperature for rehydrating the noodles. So you need to rehydrate your noodles when you before you add it into the food. So it's like super dry right now, and then you'll rehydrate. It'll be nice and soft and plushy. You don't want to overhydrate it, otherwise it'll start cooking it, and that's a problem. But it'll be good. It'll be nice and hydrated, ready to be sauced up. So the sauce ratios ratios will be one 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 two, which is one part light soy sauce, one part fish sauce, one part dark soy sauce. But I don't have dark soy sauce, so I'm going to substitute it with light soy sauce, and two parts oyster sauce. And then you mix that up. So for me, it'll be like. 90 ml probably of fish sauce, 90 ml of soy, oh, 150 ml soy sauce, and then 180 ml oyster sauce. Yeah. And then you just mix that up and that's your sauce base. And that'll be what we will add with the noodles, um, the beef and the Thai basil. And then of course, because I can't fit everything in the, the one wok or banquet fry pan as we're using today. Oops, cut the wrong side. Uh, yeah, we'll cook the veggies separately with some salt and pepper. Wok. <laughs> wok. Cook it with a wok. Pissy piece of garlic. I'm using that shit. Can suck my ass. All right. So let's go get our little shaker. Ugh. Listen, it doesn't have to be a cocktail shaker. Honestly. I've ha had this Cars cup for like the longest time because it low-key fits with my shaker. But you can use two plastic containers, one upside down on top, and just shake your garlic. It just works like that. I bought one of those Wish 
one dollar garlic roll things where you roll it and apparently it peels it doesn't fucking work ready this is this is like a one-handed cocktail shaker style or you can be the two. Oh, sorry all right cocktail shaker pro tips so um when you're shaking a cocktail let's use a, a real glass shaker right you don't even need to do a big heavy tap this just randomly works i should have cooked along with you i'm going to regret not having any at the end <laughs> get wrecked um so yeah cocktail shaker pro tips when you have this all together right it's it's one piece but it does very rarely come apart you will feel it when it does and you can slow down and stop if you feel like it's separating you will have one thumb on the metal right and then one your index finger will go on the glass middle and uh the last three fingers will go on the metal and like yeah you'll you'll shake kind of like that oh wait yeah 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 you'll shake like that right or you can shake like this top and the bottom i feel like they can totally separate and come off like that it, for me that's super super weird um so yeah when you're shaking like you'll be shaking like that or you can there's also this one i, that, I never really did that move i was not that guy but there's a lot of times because you're under the pump you're doing two shakers at once or if I'm giving the rest of my body a break, I'm just shaking like this. It didn't do shit because I didn't fucking squash them. But it softened. Whatever. So, you, yeah, usually I will tap them in before I go put them in, they'll all come apart. I didn't do that because I didn't, you know, do the tap thing at the, with the knife. But they've softened, and this is why I hate garlic. Yeah, that's how you shake a cocktail. As someone that did it for over a decade, definitely did a lot of bulk cocktails that's for sure sometimes you'll have events or weddings and so on you have to make 150 espresso martinis i tell you what boy that gives you a workout that is a workout it's insane and to make uh do it so quickly so that you get the consistent level of froth crammer on top it's just oh, it's such a workout it's not funny shout out to all the bartenders in the world you the real one. They're therapists that you pay a lot less and you also get alcohol. So when you're a bartender, you have to let, let, like talk and be a bit of a therapist sometimes when you're having one-on-one -on -one conversations. You also have to have a really large knowledge base. Um, so something that you consistently do is read a lot of the news so that you've got legit topics to talk about. <laughs> So if they t tell you about something or there's like a pause in the conversation, you can just bring up a topic that you saw in the newspaper or on your phone. So a lot of the time I would always be looking at news on my phone um, in my free time, just so I have stuff to talk about. Like for instance, and that's just a, that's just a skill that's really handy in general because you can talk about things to anyone then. Um, especially if you're there in the same area as you, you can talk about, you know, how um, 38 degrees was the hottest day since 2019 um, recently. I was telling people in the office about that, they're like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. We just talk about things in general. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's a super handy thing to have if you're a bartender that works in a bar where there's going to be customers sitting there for like a long time um, and say while you're making cocktails and so on that are uh, ready uh, needing to be made and there's people sitting right there that you can converse with you, you need to have stuff to talk about or they will just open up their heart to you kind of bullshit and 
you need to listen to all their problems and you can choose to give sound advice or just be like hey that sucks because sometimes people that's just all that people want all that people want sometimes is just to have someone that will listen to their shit and that's totally okay we all do Nick Lachey 98 degrees <laughs> dude he was a vibe uh, he was with married uh, Jessica Simpson wasn't it back in the day and then Jessica Simpson just proceeded to go through like 50 different body transformations since then because I swear that's all that you see if there's anything in relation to Jessica Simpson it's just something about her her weight or like how she's transformed her body in some sort of way that everyone's like oh my god it's so drastic and then eventually plastic surgery gets the better of everyone you know what I mean when you got money and people be like your nose could be better you're like true I don't know our nose is pretty good she's I she just also slept through our Nintendo session <clears throat> ah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. it was fun though you missed out we did a three-player with a bot that was OP at every mini game. I shouldn't have set the difficulty to hard. That was not a smart idea. I'm sorry, man. Oh, I'm sorry that you missed out. Would have been funny. But it was cool. It was cool. Definitely went for an hour and a half. That's for sure. And then we we upped the ante and went and played Mario Kart. It's pretty dope. Yeah, I missed out more than you guys did. Nintendo's a vibe. Like the Nintendo games, especially like the casual games. I remember um, when I would stream sometimes Mario Party, but I'm playing online and I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm there with randoms. They're just random people that you just match online with, right? And like, you're just not talking to them because you're streaming it and you're not really chatting to them or anything. They're just randoms. Half the time they're from Japan and yeah. <laughs> It's definitely fun, but it's like more fun if you're playing with people that you know, that's for sure. Turned out okay, since I really didn't want to buy three 50 pound games. Yeah, true. I respect it. Uh, as someone that hasn't had a lot of money for the past few months, I get that. Being like, eh, I got better things to spend my money on. More important things to spend my money on. Pal World though, it just looks like fun. It looks like Lego Fortnite, but with Pokemon now. I want it. Games where like they're kind of low key, a little bit open world. You can interact with stuff and craft things and upgrade. I like them. I think Omaha does too. I guess. I mean, the good thing about Lego Fortnite was it was free. Pal World thirty seven ninety five Australian. <laughs> garlic I hate garlic man I should have gone to the Asian store and gotten the 250 grams of already peeled garlic all I would have had to do is chop it but no I'm very slowly peeling all of this garlic but it's going to taste good in the end so I'm not gonna get too unhappy about it bro. Everything's fine. I'm not crying. You're crying. There was no point in talking about bartending in the first place. Because it didn't even work. Because I didn't even smack them. I'm not pissed. You're pissed. I'm not sad. Stop it. Garlic stream part two. Yeah, we're not going to deep fry these. We're not going to boil. That's for sure. But you know what we will do? Chop these up into itsy bitsy pieces. <laughs> um, so yeah, after this, we're gonna chop our shallots, um, which are going to be a garnish. Oh, actually, uh, yeah. We wanna get all that chopping out of the way. That way we'll be done with the chopping board. So we'll do the shallots next. We'll also roughly cut up the spinach so that it can be wilted and added in at the very end with the Thai basil. And then we will cut up our beef uh, last because 
it will ruin the chopping board if I do that first. You know what I mean? You want to mix your shit. You want to get beef blood all over your garlic. That's for sure. Or especially your shallots, which are going to be a garnish at the end. They're not even going to really be cooked. You know what I mean? Oh my god, here's the sticky shit about to happen. It's all of the peel is just sticking to my fingers. I hate it. It's fine. I want to have some G Fuel, but I can't. I'm just permanently sweating. And that's okay. It's, it's dripping. We are wet, ladies and gentlemen. We are wet. Moist. Yummy, yummy. I also bought some stuff because sorry I got a house inspection in like 10 days um, and there's some um, like mold build up on like the the sealant in other words it's just super annoying to get rid of because it's gone into the sealant nowhere else in my bathroom is there mold like at all it's just in the sealant it's the silicon sealant stuff so it's going to be really hard to try and get it out I'm going to have to use this mold cleaning thing have it sit there for like a good 10 15 minutes before I try and attempt to wipe it off and it'll definitely take a few goes that's for sure and because we never use our oven I don't need to clean my oven because the oven sucks I think maybe it's because I'm used to a fan forced oven for a majority of my life where it's a, an oven that also has a fan inside that blows the heat around and you get this consistent level of heat not heat just coming from one direction and that's it that's what makes you beautiful. Any One Direction lovers, you know, from back in the day. They're all kind of low-key grown up now. Apparently Niall Horan has, like, gone on to um, X Factor, like, again, or something. Like, after um, being on, like, what is it? Brit uh, yeah, Britain's Got Talent or whatever the fuck it is. He's gone on it, like, a second time, like, a decade later. really didn't follow him that hard and that's fine that's okay each to their own as long as he bought some investment properties I hope I hope he was a little he had someone that was smart enough to help him invest but I don't know you know is he chasing that fame is he chasing that money did he blow it all because he was just like yo live love laugh I get that <laughs> but like at the same time um huh We're almost done with the garlic. Let me just go chop it. I'm getting pretty over the garlic if I'm gonna be real about it. This is definitely the longest that we've taken on something so far. Behind like the carrot. Do 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 do. Just all I need to keep in mind is that it'll be super worth it in the end. But next time, I'm just going to get the peeled garlic, the already peeled and vac-sealed um, vac garlic. 250 grams. You can either get in 250 grams or in a kilo. Um, I got in a kilo once and then I wasn't able to use all of it. <laughs> Maybe if I do boiled garlic again. Maybe. It's 11 a.m. and I'm only awake. Wow, he slept in. Nice, Greg. You deserve it, bud. Hey, Ben. You had a big week, right? You had to go get new um, trimmers, wasn't it? Throughout the week. So you had to be closed for half a day, right? It's 9 p.m. pretty much here. <laughs> Dude, I am sweating. Fuck my life. Fucking hate garlic. This is why I hate garlic. This is exactly why I hate garlic. I should have yellowed and just tapped them all. Yeah, been a long ass week. We off tomorrow, but Wally has a vet appointment. True, true. I hope all the best. Yeah, with the um cancer and all fingies crossed 
you um, progress can be made. Good progress. Thank you, Mickey. You alright? You alright? No probs, no probs. No doubt, no doubt. Gwen Stefani. Fuck. Wow, it's just all getting sticky. It's just all sticky. I hate this shit. Sorry for any kids listening. Fuck my life. <laughs> We're getting there, okay? We're almost done. <laughs> We're almost done. I hate garlic. I, I genuinely hate it. It's just like the greatest thing to have in your food, but it's also the most annoying thing to prep. <sighs> if you're like me and you're stubborn and you, you've already come this far and you showed cocktail shaking tips and tricks, which came to no effect for your cooking at all. But, you know... Fun fact. <laughs> six. Six left. Six left. It's alright. We're not counting down. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. I'm I'm not getting annoyed. You're you're getting annoyed. Stop. Stop getting annoyed. So what are we making? We are making a drunken beef noodles with the addition of many veg. <laughs> so we've got our our broad rice noodles that we'll be hydrating later. Combined with some fish sauce, soy sauce, oyster sauce, beef, some veg, being some broccoli, some carrots, some red onion, some red capsicum or bell peppers, and some mushies, some spinach, some Thai basil, some chili, some garlic, and some shallots. No redeem for chili eye yet. Yeah. Um, Omaha already suggested it earlier. No! Not happening. Nice try there, buddy. You're trying to see whether I'm, I'm a human or not. I filled out all the captures with great success. I only took 18 tries and 36 hours of being locked out. Omaha is sadistic, yeah. Look, who isn't? Streamer, do the funny. <laughs> Fair point. Right, right, right. I mean, <sighs> we've peeled all the garlic. Now we have to actually chop it. <laughs> Fucking garlic. It just sticks to you. Right. Fuck. Back in business. The point he realized the other half is on the floor. Hmm. You're funny. Try to redeem ban in game action using towels or water. What? N using towels or water? That's annoying. Pretty weird doing the sitting down as well. Anything where it's like got the rocker motion, like it feels mad inaccurate because you've kind of got like your whole arm and shoulder behind it. Let's try and do it standing up. Oh. Okay, there's that. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. If 
I could, I would totally stream like this. But I will say, it's kind of not exactly great for your back. run. Time to get shit done. Hope it tastes good. Oh man. Yeah, you don't. No hope needed. No luck needed. But thank you. It's got to be kind of cut up like this anyway Because I was going to do it like this anyway Once I've already thinly sliced them all up Round them all up And just go at it You'll have some nicely cut up garlic eventually. Eventually. Until then, maybe I'll keep singing in this tune. I don't know what this song's from, but it's kind of cute. That didn't exactly rhyme. I'll hit well, I will do in time. Fuck. <laughs> It's my garlic song for you. I hope that you like it too. I'm cutting and I'm shredding. I'm wishing it was easier than this. Regretting that I didn't buy that chopper at the grocery store. Could have just got KFC, but I want to be a bit healthy. We're cutting and we're shredding. We're living, loving, laughing. We're doing our best, cause that's all that we can do. No problem, you. Wait, what? Everything's fine. Bit of a banger of a tune, right? Any sports fans out there because the Detroit Lions are playing uh, another game tomorrow after their first playoff win in like 30 years or something they won the wild card round so I now I think it's a Divisional round, I think. They're like a butt, the butt of a joke for like 30 years. See all this flavor right here? This is gonna be in the food. It's gonna taste so good. Okay. I think we're, we're done here. Finally, the garlic is done. 
piece of garlic. Oh, wow, cool. In the bin. Oh. The shallots, or as some people will call it, as it is also labeled here, spring onions. I call them shallots. The tasty little garnish that will be put in this cup here. Cars will have purpose after all. One's ready. That one's not going in. That one will have that bit peeled. And then this one, I think it was just cut. This one, bin, I do not want. This one, a little bit of a peel. And then this one, it is fine. This one was actually a good bunch of uh, shallots, to be honest. Plant those. Honestly, all right. These little wheels can go in with the onion, the white part, I guess. Let's say nothing racist of the shallots. The part that, you know, is totally good for cooking. And then the rest will kind of be for, you know, the garnish. exactly go as well as it was going in my head and I'm making an absolute mess that is not the best way to do it I'll admit I will be real about it I was messy AF Oh god, really? Oh, I've just brought the onions close to me and now it's like, hey, remember me, bro? I'm back. Sons of bitches. Use whatever container is available to you, honestly. But I'm, this is actually almost full. Awkward. Oh god, my eyes. Everything's fine. I'm not gonna cry. You're gonna cry. Fuck, this is gonna taste crazy dope when we're done. And with all these veggies, it's gonna be immensely healthy. The amount of vitamins and minerals that's gonna be in this dish. I'm excited. We're gonna go from soup to fuck yeah. Like, there is nothing wrong with soup, all right? The soup was dope. Nutritional value, though, wasn't exactly up there in comparison to this dish. So, you know, we're being real about it. And the cup's full, fuck. We're 
almost at the stage where we're actually going to start cooking an hour and 20 minutes in. going to be a lot of garden, I should tell you that. over there beef beef we got our beef got our beef brew uh. ah. this bad boy's been coming to room temperature it's pretty much there fun. I stabbed myself just then. If you guys didn't see. Hooked myself with the meth, cause I'm masochistic like that. Ooh, he's edgy. How many servings is this expected to make? I think the total weight of the whole thing will become like eight kilos. So I think we're gonna be looking to make about, so I'm going to try and do smaller servings for each portion. So hopefully about 16. Hey. Hopefully. I have to put so much force into it because you're sitting down. You know what I mean? You're sitting down. It's a different beast you're playing with. Stand up challenge. Huh. Nah. We're just going to enjoy so much more when we have the kitchen island. God, it, I'm really, I'm, it, it's going to be like a year in the making, I swear. When did I make my first cooking stream? God, when was it? I don't even know. At least six months. Yeah, because... Oh no, about six months. Because I think I moved in here and then shortly after I started doing my cooking streams in like July. I'm so sad this isn't being cooked in my kitchen. I don't have a kitchen island, but like I'd figure out if I got food out of it. <laughs> you are also halfway across the world. Yeah, just teleport over like a little company. No, you see, you wouldn't be exactly that excited yet. It's when it starts actually cooking 
the texture, the color, the smell, the flavor just starts taking over your senses. That's when you're gonna be like, oh. I don't have a compost bin. Donezo. I could have gotten Cass chuck steak, but I feel like it would have had too much fat. Like even this. Like I could turn this beef fat into like a, a beef oil, but I'll just slice it up into very small pieces so that it uh, just kind of fizzles away into nothing. Public comes to London when? Maybe when I'm such a successful streamer that I don't need to have a full-time job anymore and I can kind of travel. Pablo Cooks in London. So, you guys gotta get me, let's, let's get me the partner. <laughs> Imagine not having to work and just, just streaming. Wouldn't that be cool? Crazy would that be? All right. I think all the preps are done. Oh, actually, no, it's not completely. The tie basil, but I'm just gonna get rid of my chopping board quick. All right. Let's pick our Thai basil. Ugh. Getting old. You can already like envision it. It's almost lunchtime. Yeah, we'll be pretty yum. Three packs of Thai basil. Wasn't sure if two was gonna be enough. So I went with three. So we're gonna pick it off the stems, so it's just leaves. Ugh, not exactly the freshest Thai basil on earth. It's just got a different flavor profile to Italian basil. This one's got like a much sweeter smell and it really will tie well with the fish sauce and the oyster sauce that we'll have. Oh yeah, and lastly we will make 
in our Boston shaker the sauce mix. And then once that is all ready and combined, we'll start our cooking. We'll start off with our broccoli, like we always do. Then we'll go with our carrots, our capsicum. Um, before we kick all of that off, I will season the steak with some salt and pepper. Oh, you can smell, it's just, it's a nice smell, Thai basil. What does it say in the back? Absolutely nothing. Keep refrigerated, wash before use. Yeah, wash your basil. Don't forget to disinfect your shopping trolley and shopping basket before you pick it up because it's going to be oh so gross. Because, oh my god, there's going to be so many germs. There's germs already everywhere, everything all at once. Come on. It's like people who peel their mushrooms. Yes, you can peel your mushrooms. I had an ex that did it and I thought it was the weirdest thing on earth. She peeled the skin off them, got rid of the stems, never used them. And it was just, I was like, fuck, that's so white. The music's not too loud, is it? Hopefully the music isn't too loud. I hope it isn't. I set it down to like 25%. Yeah, it's definitely got a different flavor profile and smell especially than uh, Italian basil. Glad I got that. I wasn't sure, I had to go to three stores to go try and find Thai basil because the first one I was at only had one, second one that I went to had zero, and I bought like emergency Italian basil, like already kind of chopped up in case. But then I found like a th the third store had like four packs, so I was like, fuck, all right. What a waste of basil that I bought, but. Thai basil! At least it says it keeps for four weeks. Maybe I'll make a pasta dish next. Or I can try and incorporate the basil into the burritos that I'm going to eventually make, like I've been saying for like the past three months. <laughs> I can smell it from, I can smell you. Thai basil is a just completely different smell and flavor to Italian basil. It really is. And that will be added at the very, 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 very end. Or when the heat's been turned off and everything. Piece of garlic peel out of there. Um, so, first, G Fuel, because it's really hot. It actually is really hot in here. Don't touch your face with your chilly hands. I already washed my hands because I was cleaning the chopping board. So it's okay. Because I like cleaned the chopping board and I got did it with like dishwasher soap and everything. Watch. All right, here we go. Bunny's favorite. The salt. The pepper. 
<laughs> you came in at the right time. Is there a button? No. So it's just like you tip it upside down, it starts. Back up, stops. It's so good. Always season your meats. I was thinking about putting some spices in here, like some paprika, which is literally just dried and crushed uh, bell peppers or, chi or capsicum or chili flakes or something. And I was like, nope, nope, nope. The sauce and the, the Thai basil is what's going to be flavoring it. Not me adding other stuff that'll interfere with the flavor profile. One thing I forgot to do. Quickly, we'll do it now. Is chopping the baby corn spears. Ugh. Well, is there a button or is it like upside down activated? Well, I would do that on accident every day. Link in the description. It's from Aldi. So Aldi has like these weekly specials of like different products that they sell. Son of a bitch. Cut myself. It was from uh, pulling off the top of the tin. Sucks. Piece of ice. From a fucking can. Piece of ice on the wound. Keep it above your heart. Give it a few minutes, put a band-aid on it, and we'll be okay. So annoying. Ah, oh, yeah, no, it's fine. It's okay. We just gotta wait. We're just gonna have to wait. We're literally gonna have to sit here and wait until like a few minutes while I while that happens. I'm going to try and pull out a band-aid with one hand. Always have band-aids or at least a first aid kit around. Because you never know what will happen. The only thing I don't really have in here is, uh, for basic stuff is anything for burns, which is weird. Which is fine. Everything's okay. We're all right. We're alive. Yeah, so Aldi have these weekly specials and every week it's just something completely different. There'll be a certain topic that it will be the focus for. It could be entertainment, could be camping, could be kitchen stuff, could be, you know, um, uh, outdoor 
fucking pool stuff. It could be snowboarding and skiing stuff. And then one week they had these salt and pepper shakers. And Bunny's been waiting for it to be, be available actually so that I could tell her and be like, hey, it's available because she's like, I want them. It, it grew on her. Yeah. Because they're just cool. They're just handy. They require some batteries, but they're pretty dope. Well, it's doing its job. It's not bleeding everywhere. But the ice is melting, which is annoying. Moist. Be careful. Thanks, Mum. Oh, there we go. With one hand. Maybe like another minute and I can put this band-aid on. So I'll try and open it with one hand. With it's it's already annoying enough with two hands. Oh there we go. So one hand. It's even more increased difficulty. Um, all right, let's see how we go. From a can. It's from a can lid. <laughs> Plasters, is that what you call them? We call them band-aids. Alright, uh, where were we? Cutting baby corn spears. Good thing is, it's on my cutting hand. Not that we even really need to do cutting anymore. need to cut them in half and that's like it and then we can finally pull that big bertha oh no we need to do the sauce that's right sauce okay so can i just take this off or do i have to literally just kind of jizz it in all right we've got to jizz it in so it's got a measurement thing on here, but I'm going to tell you what the measurements are for the amount that I'm making, but you would go the ratio of one, 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 two, because I don't have dark soy sauce today. We'll be going with 90 mil of fish sauce. I love this brand, the squid brand, iconic, renowned worldwide, made in Thailand. That's legit. This other fish sauce though, Haldi brand, not made in Thailand. It's fine, it was $1.99. Stay on Band-Aid. I might even need to wear one of those gloves that was in the thing. Oh, this is even more annoying. Tell you what, it smells real fishy. That's the fish sauce. Now, soy sauce. About 180 mil, but I'm gonna go 150. <laughs> Lastly, our oyster sauce. And that needs to be about 200 mil, which means it'll go close to the top.
and the granny arms shaking in the background. That fat jiggle. Your boy's gonna get more exercise in the routine, that's for sure. Like the drug, Omaha? Wait, what? I dare you to drink that. Looks like Coke. Never mind. Gross! Ew. Uh... Fish, oyster, and soy. Drinking that? Ew. Bit of oyster sauce there. Well, my. My El Cheapo fucking band aid came off, but. It's actually not bleeding anymore, so there's not even any blood on the band-aid. Okay. That's our sauce. And uh, we'll stir it a little. And then we'll be good to get rolling on everything else. A la the cooking. So we've got our tire basil on the side here, our shallots on the side here, our G fuel on the side here. We've got our baby corn. We've got some chili garlic oil as well as some regular olive oil. We've got this piece of shit tin. God, that's gonna be amazing in the food. Holy shit. That tastes so good. Big birthday time. Ugh. Time for the serious business. We need to get a Big Bertha theme song for this beast. All right, we'll get that on tan. We're gonna do the beef pretty much last. We're gonna go with the Brock first. Get hot, add the brack, add a touch of water, and then the lid. Or maybe not the lid, I don't know. Depends on how, it's like a play by ear kind of vibe. But I tell you what, you will definitely be hearing the sizzle. Whoa, well, look at those cops. You guys being pervs? Two spoons. Maybe I, that's what I should call this cooking show. Two spoons. Two spoons with Pablo. Eventually, I would like to have like a really hardcore gas burner. Can you guys hear me fine? A really hardcore gas burner um, to actually cook with a wok that would be so lit but then I'd have to do that outside which is totally still possible otherwise my ceiling will start getting scorch marks we don't want that so get hot dog get hot dog 
a little quiet, but it's okay. All right, cool. Good, 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 good. We are, we can hear me. That's, that's the main thing, man. Ah. She's ready. Mozzies. Sizzle was pretty. Did was the sizzle dope? Did it sound cool? I hope it did. It was dope, but it did jump scare me. <laughs> I'm gonna make a bit of G fuel. formula this time because I just straight up I don't feel like I want any caffeine in my, in my life right now So at this point, we get to kind of chill and buy it for a sec, you know, while well, it's cooking. So it's getting a bit of a charmer. It's also getting steamed up. It's just a kind of low-key good way to dope your veg. We'll cook all our veg. And then, yeah, towards the end, we'll go with the onions and shallots. Followed by the chili and the garlic. Followed by the beef. And then... Um, the noodles, which will hydrate up, and the sauce. There'll be too much sauce, of course, at that point in time, which will combine with all the veggies in a different pot because it's, it's not going to fit. And another ice cube. Oh, wait, no. I think I'll cook the baby corn spears a touch with the capsicum. I think that'll be a good combo. Give it a little bit of oomph, you know what I mean? I have a 
yeah, I have a mildly confident feeling this is gonna taste great. That combination of the sauces, after combining them together, having a quick taste of it, it was amazing. Sadly, not having the dark soy sauce will not make it as amazing as we wanted it to be because it, dark soy sauce also really colors stuff and it has a bit of a, a sugary, a, a sweeter vibe and less sodium kind of flavor to soy sauce. So missing out on that, but we're gonna go with a bit, we went with a touch more oyster sauce than we would. And this is gonna be a very savory dish. It's not gonna be like pad thai or something where it has a sweet and sour kind of uh, flavor to it, element. But it'll be good, it'll be so good. Savory, it'll be amazing, that's for sure. We're really close to being done with the broccoli and then we'll ha start with the carrot and brock stalks. Next one. This is already hot, we can go straight in with the next batch. Now because the carrot has a lot of liquid in it, a lot of water content, don't need a lid. You don't need a lid, you just need Jesus.
You gotta put in another band aid. Blood has returned. Mmm, with that char, the sweetness of the carrot is kind of coming out, which is amazing. That grilled texture on the carrot is going to be so good. When infused with that flavor of the fish sauce, soy sauce, soy sauce, soy sauce in the stir fry, next level. It's going to be next level. Starting to turn on the water over on the side to dehydrate the noodles. The hard part about trying to get a bit of a char on the vegetables is you want to keep stirring it. Like you would as a wok chef, but they play with heat that is off the charts hot. We are not. We're using a banquet fry pan wok thing. We don't have the professional goods like they do. Where it takes sweet fuck all to be able to cook everything. Alright, the carrots are pretty much done. Question is, is the broccoli? Mm hmm. Right. Now for the capsicum. This will be very watery. It's a very watery veg. We're going to add the baby corn, but just sit it on top. And we'll stir it through.
Et ailleurs. This is the uh, emergency basil that I bought. Especially when you're making food that you're going to be reheating, you want to undercook them. This is definitely cooked. I don't want to have it any more cooked than that. Otherwise, when you go to reheat it, shit will be mushy. You can't have that. Mushies. So you can do mushrooms kind of two ways. You can either sear it really quick and keep that kind of bouncy rubbery texture, or you can put push it past that where it uh, cooks through its and uh, releases its moisture, its water content, and it becomes kind of nice and soft. Salt can definitely help with that. Get a bit of oil in there to help it on its way. Soaked up all the oil. And then soon, out of nowhere, it'll start releasing all of its juices and it'll get really soggy in here. Past that, it becomes this nice, soft, mushy texture. So you, depending on what kind of texture you want from your mushrooms, is what you can get. You can quickly do it before it loses its moisture. And it keeps its, you know, bounciness. Or we'll let it go nice and soft. And it'll reduce with that um, moisture that it releases. Mushrooms. Love them. Here we go, the shrinking. This is where we can also add the spinach. Now it's releasing its water. Hence the increased sizzle.
And now for my next trick, you're going to see all of this spinach disappear. Now is the real business. Chili garlic oil. That's the last of it. The onion. Definitely harder to wash dishes. With band-aid. Smells amazing. Now we go in with the garlic and the chili. Shortly, we're going to add the beef. 
Wow, this, the flavor coming out of this right now is off the chart. Need to get um, boiling water, add the noodles, cook for six to eight minutes, and then drain. It's very close to boiling, so it will be good time to well. And my band aid's coming off again. Five second rule. Ooh, the beef. Always try and do your dishes while you're cooking, if you can. Now, I don't think we can combine the noodles in here at the same time, so I'm going to put some of the sauce in here. And then some of the sauce will be for the noodles for combining. Fuck, that is such a good flavor. Oh my god, it smells nuts. Now sadly the beef wasn't able to get like a good char on it, but I didn't want it to be overcooked either. But this sauce combining of the flavors of the beef and the chili and the garlic. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get that Thai basil in there. Take the heat off. Because the beef's pretty much cooked through. Wow, that Thai basil. 
Whoa. Whoa. There's gonna be more in there. Holy moly. Crazy good smell. We'll get a taste of it in a tick just to see what profile we're going with. Mmm. Oh my god, holy fuck. The beef is still nice and soft and tender. Because it hasn't been overcooked. We haven't turned into rubber. We haven't made a well done steak. We don't need to be congratulated and sent a fucking certificate of participation. Because of how well done it is. Um, it's nice and soft. Uh, we can bite into it. The, the flavors that are accompanying it is crazy good. It's so Asian. It's not fucking funny. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put it in the container that has... The mushrooms already in it, combined with the juices in there. While we wait for the rice noodles to um, boil. Just waiting for it to get to a full boil in the meantime. Wow, the, the smell of this thing is crazy. It is crazy. We will leave the juices, the sauce in here. It'll go with the noodles because the noodles will be soaking up all of this. We will need to potentially look at thickening it too. Uh, with corn flour. Yeah, the flavor of that beef with the sauce, crazy good right now. We just don't want to overcook it because remember this is a meal that's going to be reheated because we're prepping so much of it ah. i am dripping sweat it's so hot it's so hot <sighs> my thumb's not bleeding that's a good thing So we just gotta wait like five, six minutes. All right, fine, six to eight minutes, like the pack says. Oh, in the meantime, oh, it is hot, my guy. So we're gonna let the noodles boil up. Then we'll add them into this, get the flavor in, get the rest of the sauce in. And then I think we're going to thicken it up with a bit of a corn flour mixture at the end as well. So that it turns into a, like almost like a bit of a glaze across all the meals. Um, and then of course the veggies will get flavored in as well. Don't worry about that. Because it will be combined into a big pot. Like we always do because we always cook too much. 
Yeah. I, I feel like I've, I've sweat the whole one liter of G fuel that I was drinking earlier after I had my run. Like, a, yeah. It's, a, it's crazy. It's hot in here. It's so hot in here. Because I have all the windows closed. I have the windows closed so that my neighbors don't have to hear me talking to what seems like myself. Everything's fine. And uh, yeah, we'll see how many servings this conjures up. But um, yeah, keen for it. I would have loved to have seared uh, the, the beef. I definitely could have covered it in some flour or corn flour and then sear it real good so it gets like a bit of crunchy crust on it. Uh, that's something that you can do to improve your beef game. But I, yeah, I was like, uh, there's, there's going to be veggies and stuff in there. Actually would have been a really good idea. It's not a bad idea. Make, getting a crunchy texture on it. Anyway, something that we can improve on next time. Yeah, know what I mean? How is everyone going? It's a little moist over here. It's also 10.22 at night. So about an hour and a half till I, de that, till I definitely need to go to bed, that's for sure. Um, I'm wondering if I should grow out my facial hair for work. Because I've been clean shaven, but then I'm like, what if I'm not? Oh, got him. When you kill him with one hand, it feels so cool. They're already soft, but I'm going to give another minute or two. Because there's a reason why you need to follow the instructions. You don't want it to still be chewy on the inside of the noodle. You definitely don't want that. That's for sure. You know what I mean? Plants are doing okay. They're alive. They're still alive. Um, I really think I'm gonna start my gardening stream soon. Uh, it could be within the throughout the middle of the week, or it could be on next weekend, because I want to start them off before I have my house inspection, so that they can kind of see that I've got my little gardening hat on. They'd be like, "Ooh, look at this guy! He can garden." Ooh. Um. I think we'll pick like five or six things. I'm not sure which though. Let me know in the comments, maybe. What do you think I should get? I'm thinking potatoes. I'm thinking carrots. I'm thinking I don't lettuce. I don't fuck. I don't know. <laughs> 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 All right, now I think we'll go in with the noodles. Give me one sec, and I'll be back.
I don't want to use a strain on. Fuck. We're back. We have all the noodles, or as one would call the nudes. Let's get back into it. After our little intermission. So this would definitely take on a much darker yellow color if, uh, say, we had the dark soy sauce, but it won't be, which is totally fine because uh, considering the amount of veg and the amount of beef that's going to be in there, this is going to be quite the dish. So the noodles are currently kind of like soaking up all the sauce, which we're going to add the rest in. fruity smell from the fish sauce. Now I'm going to get in uh, some corn flour and a bit of water. Make sure you stir your corn flour, don't add your corn flour directly, otherwise you'll end up with corn flour clumps. Do not be that person. Take the heat off. Hi, Basil. Sorry, that was super loud, I know. That was a very big pop. I didn't expect that either. Damn, that Thai Basil really do be bringing the game. Alright, nice. The sauce has nicely thickened up. This is great. This is perfect. Now, we bring in the real Big Bertha. So, I'm going to put in about half of the noodles, then we'll put the veg and the beef in, and the other half of the noodles, and then we'll mix it all up. Okay. 
noodles are in. And the beef, which comes in with the mushroom juice. There's also gonna be some juices from the veg. Oh, remember that broccoli? Damn, that looks fire right now, that broccoli. That looks so vibrant and fresh. And then more noodles. And then we'll mix it all together. And then um, divide it out. Then finally, garnish with our shallots. Oops. I am not going to miss a single bit of rice noodle here because all of that is straight up flavor. It's soaked into the rice noodle. It did get a bit dry in there, that is for sure, but it will get balanced out with all the juices from all the other food that we added in. The mushrooms, beef crying and dropping its little nice juicy little liquids from resting all the veggies the carrot and the capsicum especially gets balanced down Had I bought a third thing of noodles, I was only going to go with two initially, and I was like, eh. Oh, it's a lot of food that I'm moving around, and then also splitting the noodles up at the same time because of all the extra liquid. Bruh, I am sweating. I know I've said it like seven times. This pot's also quite hot. It smells absolutely divine, by the way. In case anyone was actually curious of what the smells, that Thai basil coming through is has stayed there. And this is when we're going to divide it out. spoon out. Yeah, that's mixed in so well. The Thai basil is just so alive um, in, in, the, in the smell region. It smells insane. And then you've got the, the flavors of the, the fish sauce, the soy sauce, the oyster sauce, just living it up everywhere. I know that when I chew in and swallow these noodles they're just gonna taste like flavor nothing but because it just went in and it soaked it all up knock knock welcome Greg that used to be scary first couple times I heard it not really scary anymore oh my god it tastes nuts all right let's divide this bad boy up That's a good portion. The mosquitoes are also very interested in what's just happened because three of them are now circling the food. One. 
want. No, 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 no. It's more a need. I don't know, Bunny. Do you want to have three to six kids? <laughs> I need my bowl. Don't forget we need to garnish at the end. If I had three to six kids, the sad thing is I'd have to actually cook every day because this amount of food would literally do one meal. Seven portions so far. Yum, mosquitoes. Mm. Yeah, they are definitely existing around here right now. Well, we're not going to get as many portions as I was envisioning. I thought that this was going to make a absolute crap ton. But it's made a generous amount means I won't get really sick of it. Like this is gonna be, a, oh, well, actually, we might as well just wait until I actually eat it to tell you what it's like. So what I could do is I could bring an extra portion of work and then divide it out into little bowls for the staff and they can try my food and I'll be like yeah I made it while people were watching me on twitch and they'll be like whoa this crazy man they won't say it like that they'll say it with an Aussie accent a very Aussie accent and they'll be like oh my fuck that's pretty darn good eh oh Oh, bonzo. That's some good shit. They'd be like, oh, you planning on becoming a house husband or something, mate? And I'd be like, fuck. Oh, I fucking wish I. And they'd be like, oh, too right. <laughs> All right, get back to work. <laughs> Hey, what up, little ghetto? Welcome to the best part of the stream when I actually get to taste test it. Getting the silicon spatula because we're not leaving any of this shit in the pot. None of it. I want some, please mail it. Yeah, just you know, send me a hundred bucks. We did it. We got three, six, nine, ten, eleven, and a bowl. Twelve serves. I got my favorite spoon out, but we need to garnish. We have a lot of garnish, so we're gonna go hard with it.
guys are doing well. We are, we are. We're gonna watch from my bed. I felt like boo boo. Oh, that's not good, dude. Oh, right. So, thoughts. Yeah, I may have added a touch too much corn flour. And I definitely could have floured the beef and then sear it separate, separately and then add it in afterwards instead of cooking it in with the garlic, chili and onion um, to create an extra layer of texture. Um, but, you know, we, li we live and we learn. Uh, but the flavors of fish, oyster and soy have really come through. First impression, let's have some noodles and some sweet corn. I'm in savory heaven. soul this is soul food bruh fuck off muzzies made lasagna with homemade oven chips and salad the other night it was pretty good ooh lavender tea and honey <laughs> I'm fucking dripping sweat, dog. Where's a mushroom? Where's a mushroom? Mm. How does a rape? Okay. It's not as good as pancit. When I made the pancit canton. And I think if I also boiled the rice noodles for a tiny bit less, it said six to eight minutes. I think I went for about five. And like, of course, I've also said that there are various improvements that I could have made to the dish to make it even like on another level. So I'm gonna say that it comes about above mid. It's so hard because everything else that we've cooked, bar maybe like one or two things have been like up there like up there good like this is this is really good this is like savory like really savory of course the soy comes through and i didn't exactly put the seeds from the chili in but it's just so packed with flavor it's not funny and every time you have a little like every spoonful is like it's got different elements in it like you got the light crunch of the broccoli flavored with the sauce then you've got the soft noodles that are hopping in there, being like, hey, yo, what up? It's your boy. Then you hit a little bit of beef and you've got that soft, tender beef flavored with the sauce. And you've got this accompaniment of all the garlic, onion, and chili as well. And I'm just sitting back being like, hey, yo, we part of this. And then you go in with like some of the red caps and with some of the carrots. And you've got that separate, different level of texture there that you're biting into and you're like, oh, shit. And then you get the like the soft little bit of mushroom and the baby corn spears and you're just like, ah. My favorite is always biting into the broccoli. Especially in the way that we cook it. You gotta go in Master Chef, nah. I don't know. I don't think I'm as good as them. They they make some next level stuff. I don't know if they even make it on the show. <sighs> like it's good. Like this is good. But I'm gonna say there's only like a seven out of ten on the everything we've cooked scale. Hmm.
like nothing at the, this point in time beats the Japanese curry we made. That was that was better than restaurant quality. That sauce that took two hours to make. Holy shit. I, when I didn't have much money, I pulled out some of the frozen pink mashed potato and cooked it with like some other stuff. It was amazing. It was so good to come back to that and be like, oh my fucking God, this is amazingly good. The, the beetroot mashed potato that we made. The pancit. That pancit was so complete, it wasn't funny. Like, because that was completely full of flavor and it just never stopped. It was just always filling your mouth with, oh shit. This is almost at that. Like, I'll say it's better than the black pepper beef. Uh, black pepper beef or the black pepper pork stir fry that we made. Um, it's better than the beef strog. It's better than the soup. I'm gonna say that it's like, it's mid. In, in the tiers of everything that we've cooked. I'm gonna need to put on the chart and do like a top gear magnet list of things that we've cooked. Yeah, this is tops. This is amazing. Like I'm gonna happily go through the week with this. Like the soup. It was good to have a few times and then I'm like, fuck, I've got 10 more to eat. But this, it slaps. I'm gonna happily eat this twice a day. I'm gonna heat it up in the fucking microwave and they're gonna be like, oh mate, what's that? And I'm like, um, yeah, just, you know, made it, made it last night. And they're like, oh, true, hey. Oh, is that the one that you do on your your little your little video thing, your YouTube thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my Twitch streams, yeah, yeah, yeah. People were watching me uh, cook this food. They're like, oh, right. Nice, mate. Smells pretty good, hey. I'm like, oh, cheers, cheers. I appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's not bad. In saying this, we've almost hit three hours. I thought it was going to be four due to the amount of veggies that we were prepping. But, I don't know, we, we went quick with it. We definitely went quick with on the cooking part. That's for sure. I actually might even be able to play like an hour of Fortnite, you know, if some other people are interested in, you know, the squirt. Yeah, this is, this is tight. Mmm. Mmm. Probably could have gone with more chili as well. I know that I said I was um, a bit of a pussy in regards to chili, but I definitely could handle so much more chili in this. Two chilies for like 12 containers means like a sixth of a chili is in each dish. You want to see a ranking? Yeah, we'll get one. We'll get one. I need to get the, these cool magnets, strip magnets that I can ride on. Like in Top Gear. I'd like to have them like Top Gear. Mmm. Just beef. Just good. And that Thai basil smell is just everywhere. It's so good. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I was going to cook this today because I wasn't really feeling it after I went for the run. I was like, fuck, I'm already tired. But I'm glad. So glad. It's like when you go for a workout or something and the whole time before it, you're just like, nah, fuck, I don't want to do this. 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 And then you finish it and then you're like, oh. yeah, it was good. Good workout. Glad I did it. At least the majority of the time. Ooh. 
It's such an easy dish to eat as well. Like I hate nothing more, right, than bones or like bits in the food that you can't really eat. Bones are like the biggest thing I hate. I want to have that ability to absolutely woof it down and inhale the food without worrying like biting into a bone or something. This is why sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of fish because you just find tiny bones even though like, oh yeah, it's been fully deboned and you just find bones anyway. So when you bite into a male and there's no bones or anything to worry about, oh, hell yeah. I think I rank it like fifth or sixth. Because how many episodes have we done now? Is it like 12 episodes? Definitely worth it. And it cost me 70 bucks. So I divide that by 12. You know, it's I just forgot how to do math. 72 is eight bucks, or like $7.80 each. $7.75 each. Delicious. It did require three hours of effort and going to the shops. But I mean, so does everything else. Happy days, great satisfaction. Um, yeah. Anyone want to squat up and play like one or two games? I'd be down for like one or two games. And then go to bed at like midnight. Wake up at seven. I need to let this stuff cool down anyway. Yeah, definitely a couple of things I can improve on this dish. That's for sure. I think flouring the beef, searing them separately, and then adding them in later with the noodles. Um, also, not cooking the noodle, uh, not boiling the noodles as long. You can join next game. Oh shit! You guys are already playing. True, 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 true. Okay, dope. Well. Like we do on a lot of our streams towards the end, I'm going to go finish my dishes. Because if I do it while the stream's going, I actually will do it. If I don't, I'm not going to do them tonight. <laughs> Let's just be real. Sometimes we're just like that. Thanks everyone that tuned in. I appreciate it. Thanks everyone that dropped by and saw what we made today. I, uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate anyone that drops by and drops a comment, drops a vibe. And um, I'd like to say next one is going to be burritos because I've still got these wraps that I've got to use. I've got 24 wraps. I need to buy eight more so they have 32 and then split them by three. So we're about 10 slash 11 of one of the three flavors. We cut our thumb, but it has now stopped, which is good. It did come back in force for a second there. But yeah, happy days. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you may be. It's your boy, Pro Pablo. I'm gonna go do his dishes. And then probably play like one or two games of Fortnite. Hooroo. And. Peace. <sighs> the clean up. But I'm going to open my window soon. I swear to God. And hooray. My stream didn't crash. My camera died a couple times. But it stayed pretty solid for the most part of it.
Oh, fuck. Oh. It's so hot. So sweaty. Alright, I'll be back on in 10 minutes. Later, guys.